Today, I'll be showing you how to start a blog with Hostinger, which is the best platform and most affordable option for beginners that have no idea where to start. So if your goal is to start a blog and you don't know where to begin, or you already got Hostinger and you're not sure what to do next on the platform, then be sure to watch the entire video because I'll be taking you through the entire process of setting up your website, as well as being able to post your blog content online for people to see. This should be a pretty easy and straightforward tutorial, so let's get right into it. Okay, so if you guys haven't gotten set up with Hostinger yet, go ahead and click on the link down below where you guys can literally get started for under $3 per month. And you guys can see that you'll get two months for free as well as a 30 day money back guarantee. So yeah, if you guys are just starting out, then I highly recommend using Hostinger. It's our favorite platform to host websites on just because of how affordable it is. So I'll just go ahead and click on claim deal right here. And then it's gonna ask me to choose which web hosting plan that I want. So you'll see that they have the premium, the business, as well as the cloud startup. And I'll say that for most of you guys just starting out, the premium plan is pretty much everything that you need to create your website. You'll have access to a hundred different websites sites, which is way more than enough for a beginner. And then you'll also be getting a bunch of other cool features like unlimited free SSL, unlimited bandwidth, free email, and a free domain. Now, if you guys want increased performance on your website, as well as more website storage, then I would recommend checking out the business or the cloud startup plan. But again, for most of you guys, the premium plan will be just fine for a blog. So I'll go ahead and click on add to cart right here. And then it's going to ask me to choose a time period. So you can choose the one month plan, the 12 month plan, 24 and the 48 month plan. Now, the only plan that I don't recommend going with here is the one month plan just because it's a lot more expensive than the other ones. And then obviously the longer the plan, the more money that you'll save in the long term. But again, it's totally optional for this video. I'll choose the 12 month plan. And then if I scroll down, you guys can enter in your email address to create your account. And then down here where you guys can enter in your payment information, go ahead and click on this button right here where it asks you if you have a coupon code, go ahead and type in Charlie Chang. And then once you click on apply, that's going to give you an even greater discount to your plan. So as you guys can see, I'm getting one year's worth of web hosting for just $32. This is a really great deal. And again, they have a 30 day money back guarantee. So we'll leave a link down below if you guys haven't already gotten set up on Hostinger. But from here, all you have to do is just enter in your credit card information and then click on submit secure payment. And then once you guys are done with that and you've logged into your Hostinger account, you guys are gonna see a dashboard like this. And from here, you guys can claim your free domain. And you'll also be able to see your web hosting plan right here. All you have to do is click on setup. And don't worry, inside of this setup, you'll be able to claim your free domain as well. So now they're gonna take me through their guided setup where I'll be able to have my website live within a few minutes. So I'll click on start now. I'll click on create a new website. And then it's going to ask me if I want to choose WordPress or Hostinger's Builder with AI. I recommend that if you guys want a super simple blog with not as many customizations, then go ahead and choose this one. But for this video, I'll be showing you guys WordPress because they're one of the most popular website builders right now. There's tons of tutorials online that you can find out about WordPress. And yeah, you just have so many more options when it comes to customizing your website. So I'll go ahead and choose WordPress right here. And now it's going to ask me to create my login details for my WordPress account. Account. Once I'm done with that, it's going to ask me if I want to add any plugins to my website. For now, I'll just click skip. And then it's going to ask me if I want to install a template. For this, I'll just choose skip as well. And then now it's going to ask me if I want to add in my brand name as well as a description. And what this is basically going to do is generate a few pieces of content for your website using AI. So that's totally optional, but for now, I'll click on skip. Now it's going to ask me if I want to claim my free domain, or I can choose a domain that I already have. Or if you already got an existing domain from a third party platform like Namecheap, then you would choose this. But for this example, I'll go ahead and click claim a free domain since this comes with all the plans. And then down here, all I have to do is enter in the domain name that I want. So I'll go ahead and change this to .com. And then let's just name it StartupWise Test Hosting or Blog. I'll go ahead and click search. And cool, so the domain is available. So I'll just go ahead and click continue. From there, you just have to click on the finish setup button. And then now it's gonna install WordPress onto your website. Okay, cool. So once that is ready, you guys have the option to either edit your website right away, or you can go to your hosting or control panel. And this is where you'd be able to set up your website email, as well as install any SSL certificates. So yeah, you guys can mess around with that stuff later, but for now, we'll just go ahead and click on to edit website. So now it's going to bring me to the WordPress dashboard. This is where you're going to be able to manage a bunch of different things like the posts, the media, the pages, any comments that are on your website, as well as how your website looks with the appearance, any plugins and the settings, which by the way, the first thing that you guys should do is go into your settings right here and then go into permalinks. And then from here, you guys are going to want to change the permalink structure from plain to post name. This is going to change it so that your website's going to have the post name afterwards. And this just makes it a lot better in terms of SEO. So once you're done changing that, go ahead and click save changes. And now let's go ahead and install some plugins for your website. So we'll go ahead and go to plugins right here. And as you guys can see, there are already some plugins installed on my website. So for example, Akismet anti-spam is spam protection. There's Lightspeed Cache, which is a site optimization plugin. And if you guys want to add a new plugin, just go ahead and click on add new right here. And the first plugin that you guys are going to want to install is called a Yoast SEO. So go ahead and type it into the search bar right here 
here and then click on install now. And now once that's done installing, you guys can see that it's right here. All I have to do is click on activate. And then the next plugin that you guys are gonna wanna install is called WP Forms. This is a drag and drop form builder for WordPress. And so this is gonna allow people to get in contact with you from your blog. And then the last plugin that you guys will need is called Elementor. This is basically an all-in-one drag and drop page builder. And it works really well for beginners that are just getting started with WordPress. So I'll go ahead and install this as well. Once that's done, I'll go ahead and activate both of them. And then next, I'm gonna go ahead and install a theme on my website. So I'll go to appearance right here and then go into themes. And so as you guys can see, the 2023 theme is active right now. And if I want, I can go ahead and click add new right here. And then it's gonna have over 5,000 themes for me to look at. You guys can scroll through here and see which one that you guys like for your blog. And then if you guys want, you guys can also go ahead and search up blog right here. And it's gonna have a bunch of different themes that are made specifically for blogs. But for this example, I went ahead and I installed Astra. I highly recommend this theme for most beginners because it's super customizable. You guys can click into it and preview it before you install it on your own website. But yeah, this theme can be used for any website. So cool, now that I have my plugins and my theme installed, I can now create my first blog post. So I'll go ahead and go to posts right here. And as you guys can see, there's already a sample post for me, but go ahead and click on add new right here. And then it's gonna bring me to the WordPress block editor. So from here, just add a title. So let's call this one test blog. And then down here is where you can start writing. So I'll just go ahead and type in something like, hello, this is my first blog post. And then these are some options that I can mess around with. If I want, I can go ahead and click the plus sign right here. And I can add a bunch of different things like headings, lists. I can even go ahead and add an image. And yeah, super customizable with the WordPress block editor. But if you guys want it to be even more customizable, then go ahead and click on edit with Elementor right here. And then it's gonna take you to the Elementor editor. So from here, it's super easy to just drag and drop whatever you need. So if I wanna add something, I could just click this plus sign right here. And then it's gonna ask me to select a structure. So for this one, I'll choose this. And then I can go back right here and then choose whatever I want. So let's say I wanna add an image. So I'll go ahead and drag this onto the screen. From here, I can go ahead and choose an image and then it's gonna bring up the media library. So I went ahead and I added a sample picture. So I'll just go ahead and click select and boom. So now it's on the screen. Now you guys can customize it however you want right here. And then if you guys go into style and advanced, you guys can customize it even further. So yeah, there's a bunch of different things that you can do with Elementor. It's super easy to drag and drop. I'm not gonna get too much into building out a website because we have other videos on this channel that will go deeper into that. But yeah, once you guys are done with that, just go ahead and click on update right here. And then now if I go ahead and click this right here and then click exit, I can go back to my WordPress dashboard and then visit my site. And then now, as you guys can see, the test blog is there. And if I click on it, you'll see that it has my text as well as the picture that I added. So yeah, that's just a basic overview of how to create a blog. And then within your blog, you guys are gonna wanna add different categories. So to do that, just go ahead and go to posts and then click on categories. And then to create it, just go ahead and add a name. So let's say I want a section on interior design. I'll go ahead and change the slug to interior design as well. And then I'll click on add new category. And then if I want to add a subcategory, then what I can do is add another name. And let's say I wanna name it one bedroom apartments. I can go ahead and go right here to the parent category and then select interior design. So then now when I create that, it'll be underneath the interior design category. Now, if I go ahead and go back to my posts and I click on quick edit, I can go ahead and change the category. So let's change this one to interior design and then also one bedroom apartment. So I'll go ahead and update this. And if I go back to my website, you guys now see that I have the option to select the category. So it'll show all the different blog posts within this category. Now, the next thing that you guys are probably gonna wanna do is create a menu. So if you wanna add your categories on the top right-hand corner right here, you'll go back to your WordPress dashboard and then go ahead and go to appearance and then go down to menus. And then now is where you can create your first menu. So I'll go ahead and name this one primary menu. I'll go ahead and choose primary menu as the display location, and then I'll click create menu. From here, I can choose different things to add, such as pages or posts. But in this example, I'll go ahead and choose categories, and then I'll add in interior design. So I'll click add to menu. And then I'll go ahead and I'll also add one bedroom apartment. So I'll add that. And what's cool is you guys can click and drag this around. So if I want, I can go ahead and add this as a subcategory. And then now I'll click on save and then take a look at my website. And boom, now, as you guys can see, it has the interior design up here. And then as I hover over it, you guys will see that I can choose the one bedroom apartments. And now it'll take me to the one bedroom apartments category. So yeah, I highly recommend that you guys check out our other videos where we dive deeper into how to customize your website. But yeah, that's pretty much all the basics that you need to understand when it comes to creating a blog with Hostinger. Again, we'll leave a link down below to Hostinger if you guys wanna check it out. If you guys do end up making a purchase through our link, we do receive an affiliate commission. And that's just to help support this channel so that we can keep creating free content for you guys. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please be sure to like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Here on this channel, we make a lot of how-to guides and tutorials dedicated to helping out new entrepreneurs start their own business, as well as beginners who wanna start their first blog. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.